Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sierra, also known as Chef C and C Johnson. And here on this channel, I help you become your own vegan chef. Whether you're new to the vegan part or new to the chefing part, hopefully we can get there together because I've been on the journey and it's been two years now that I've been vegan. So in this video, I'm going to be recapping these past two years, kind of an update to my one year vegan anniversary video and just letting you guys know some tips that I wish I would have known before I went vegan. We're going to start off right at the basis, right at the beginning, right at what is a vegan anyways. So a vegan, the actual definition that I feel like it's easiest to understand, and I'll go into a little bit more depth, but a vegan is a person that doesn't use or consume anything that has any animal products in it. So that includes eating any meat and also any animal byproducts. So that's eggs, um, dairy, um, chicken broth, things like that. So those things are not vegan. Vegans are do not eat those or most vegans do not eat those i also think that it's up to you how you want to do your diet so it's up to you to choose what you want to put in your body and what you don't so that's up to you but i do not consume any animal products or any animal byproducts i do sometimes consume honey though that's the only thing that i say that i do consume is honey so We'll get into that there's actually a lot of things that you can use for honey but i don't know i just i still eat honey so everybody has their own things some people may be more strict or less strict or sometimes vegan or whatever so that's up to you if you were going vegan it's a very personal choice so it really doesn't matter it's it's all personal you're the only one that can control it you're the only one that can keep it up as I would say it's a very personal choice. I've been vegan for two years now. I did a video on my one year anniversary and kind of how that went and you guys can see the link to that there. I actually lost 20 pounds at that point when I was doing that video and I was feeling it. I was feeling myself and I was, I was feeling this vegan life. This is a follow up to that video but I do say that I've found a few more things out. So I've come up with like five top things that I think I wish I would have known before I was vegan and we're going to go over that now. Going vegan doesn't mean that you're going to lose weight. Even though in the first video I said, hey, I lost 20 pounds, I did. I had lost 20 pounds and then I gained those 20 pounds right back. So <laughs> um, going vegan, I would say it's mostly about maintaining your weight. If you eat vegan mostly and you're eating a balanced vegan diet so that's like fresh fruits and vegetables alkaline foods and regular vegetables and stuff like that and also processed foods mixed in with that or maybe you know some more starchy foods then you're probably just going to maintain your normal weight but if you are just only eating processed foods and starchy foods or eating a lot of that and not a lot of vegetables, then you could definitely gain weight on it and you're not being active. You could definitely gain weight on that, on a vegan diet. And um, if you're eating really clean, on the other end, if you're eating really clean and you're eating like an alkaline diet, you can lose weight like nothing. Like it'll just fall off and you don't even have to work out and you can eat as much as you want. I tried an alkaline diet for about a week and it was only alkaline and I'm going to do it again and I'm going to record it this time. I was trying to record it that time but I did it like the week of my birthday so that was like a hard time to do it. Like you can't celebrate your birthday. I went to go to a vegan restaurant. You can't go to a vegan restaurant. You can't be having cakes and stuff made for you that are alkaline friendly. So that's kind of what I did for that. Um, so I did do an alkaline diet and I lost a lot of weight in my stomach and everything because on an alkaline diet, and we can talk about this in another video because I do want to do more videos about alkaline meals and like um, I want to do a challenge where I'm only eating alkaline. So I'm going to share that with you guys. Hopefully I can incorporate it with like my weight loss because I am on a like a weight loss journey I would say is definitely a journey but <laughs> um, we're here you know but I want to try it again and I want to try incorporating working out with it because 
doing it alone, I was just eating, like, you can have quinoa and stuff, but you can't have, like, pasta and stuff like that. So there's certain, there's certain things that you can eat, and those things... I found that it didn't really stick on my stomach. When I love pasta, I love bread and stuff like that, that stuff sticks on me all the time. It just it just stays. It's just hugging my stomach like, hey girl, what's up? So I found that alkaline foods, I can still eat a lot of food and be full and be satisfied, but your girl was slimming down. I was like, what? <laughs> what is this waste? So, and then I didn't incorporate working out because when I was doing it at the time, I was like working, it was like a weird time of the year. So um, I didn't incorporate working out, but I wanna try that. I think that's the first thing that I wish I would've known, that just because you're gonna go vegan, it doesn't mean that you're gonna just lose weight, look amazing, and it's just gonna stay off. That stuff can come back, and it's just like any other any other thing in everything. Like, that, it's just like any other weight loss journey or weight loss kind of thing. You still have to keep up with what you're eating, you have still have to make sure it's healthy, and you also have to make sure that um, you're being active and that you're burning more calories than you're taking in. And a lot of the processed foods have more calories, they have more sugars and stuff like that, so that doesn't really help. You know what I'm saying? And that's the, the good thing about alkaline diet is that you're not having any sugar, you're not having any carbs, so you don't have to worry about that part. That's why I was saying I was just slimming up like, ooh. So you don't have to worry about that part and yeah. Anyways, I wish I would have known that because I just thought like, oh, if I'm only eating vegetables and stuff like that, I could just eat what I want, but I still gotta watch what I eat. We can't we can't be that loose, you know? Why would we wanna be that loose with it? Okay, anyways. Which we're, we're trying to do this for a health reason, so eating healthier foods is gonna be a part of losing weight period, blank, period, no matter if you're already vegan or if you're going vegan, like, you can still eat unhealthy foods and be vegan, like I said in the first video. Also, I, I've stopped counting calories, and I said that in the first video, so I just want y'all to know, you definitely don't have to count calories or measure your foods or anything to lose weight being vegan. And like I said, with alkaline, you could just be vegan and just not even think about it, as long as you're eating alkaline, which is a lot to do. But yeah, like I said, I want to do another video. I want to do another video about that, so we'll get more into that in the future. If you guys are interested, like this video, let me know if you're interested, and let me know in the comments. On to the second point. So, one thing that I learned in the movie that I watched that was like really influential in me going vegan, which is What the Health on Netflix. You guys, it's quarantine. You guys can watch that movie. I mean, that documentary. It's a really good documentary. One thing that they said in the film is um, that your taste buds would change. And I was just like, what? What does that mean? Like, what is that even? I had no, I even, I had no idea what that even meant, entailed, any of that. So I started to notice though, maybe about one month in, um, and even until now, like, there are foods that I would never have eaten, like vegetables that I'd never liked, <laughs> like tomatoes, no. I can only eat, like, cut up diced tomatoes, like in salsa or like something like that, or um, really small and like, and cooked in pasta or like a stew or something, a soup. So I was really picky about tomatoes. I've been loving some cherry tomatoes now. I'm just like, wow. Another one was squash. I never ate squash. Like, I never really ate squash or zucchini. Eggplant? Mm-mm. I never liked eggplant. Eggplant be like... I, I found some good ways to cook eggplant and eat eggplant or how you should have your eggplant, and it's so good. It's really good. Squash, zucchini. I wouldn't have ate that, like, but it's really good. Like, my taste buds, it's like I can taste more things. Recently, artichokes. I never liked artichokes, but I love spinach dip. Never liked artichokes. I made some vegan spinach dip the other day and I put some artichokes in it. Them artichokes was my favorite part. <laughs> well, I, I made some kale dip actually. I, I used kale because I had kale already and the artichokes was my favorite part. I was like, ooh, yes. Also, in addition to my taste buds changing um, with liking different vegetables, I found that I can handle spices more. So I really didn't eat spicy foods before I went vegan, but I did 
around the time I went vegan shortly after I started dating my boyfriend and he's Dominican and he loves jalapenos on everything and I was just like I never eat jalapenos on anything <laughs> because they're spicy right like I shouldn't be just eating that I'm not trying to win a chicken um <laughs> a hot wings competition so I was just like I just never had really ate jalapenos and I just thought they were super spicy when I did. I never ate hot sauce. Now I can really appreciate different hot sauces and if you guys don't know, my favorite hot sauce is Cholula. I'm always putting that on my little TikTok recipes. If you guys want to, you can follow me on TikTok. But um, Cholula girl, jalapenos, I love jalapenos. I love different spices now, turmeric, cayenne pepper, like, Red pepper flakes on everything. I'm I'm like I'm I'm kind of make my food a little spicy. So people I have to remember that. And even with my boyfriend being vegan, he's realized like he can handle spicier foods too. But we have to remember like if I'm cooking for someone else, I'm about to be like, oh yeah, this might have been spicy to you. Like <laughs> this might be spicy. Let me like not. Cause I didn't think I cook spicy now. I don't know. I just like to cook seasoned and it just tastes seasoned to me. It's like a more of a seasoning. I can appreciate the flavors and spices. It's not just hot, it's like seasoned. So yeah. If you're new to going vegan or you're thinking about going vegan, you are going to encounter slim options. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but a way to think about it and something that's helped me from the beginning, like month one of being vegan is to think about it this way. When you're hungry or you're about to eat something, especially if you aren't always able to cook for yourself, um, if you aren't always able to go to the store and make sure you know what's in your food, like if you're ordering somewhere else or you're like, for me, it was a big problem like working. Where I work, I work in the film industry, so um, they have catering for the whole crew and the cast and it's a really nice spread, okay? They be having like all kinds of things like that you never really have, like really specialty things, like, and it's really meat heavy too. It can be meat heavy. So they'll have like ribeyes, then they'll have like chicken breasts, and then they'll have like lobster tails. Literally, it'd be that nice sometimes. And you'll just be like, because I'm vegan, I'll just be like, dang, okay fancy right and like <laughs> this food is free so you're like dang especially when you're first going vegan like this was me the first month like the second month of going vegan I started working in the film industry finally sometimes when you're eating options may be slim even if you're at home and like if you're living with other people that aren't vegan or something or if you're trying to start it out and you haven't really gone shopping or you don't really know what to get just yet don't think about it in a negative mindset don't think about what you can't eat think about what you can eat and thinking about what you can eat you'll look past you'll you'll form some blinders because i have some serious blinders now where i'm just like okay let me focus what can i eat in this situation that's all i think about before i even start saying would that look good oh i wish i could have had this oh this and that i just feel like okay i'm hungry what can i eat if it's nothing there, what else can I eat? Can I go get something? Can I do something else? Like sometimes there would be no options for me and I would be at work literally like, dang, they don't have anything. See if I could talk to a chef. Usually they would try to make me something or at Crafty they would try to make, they would be able to make me something. But sometimes you just might have to bring your own lunch. And sometimes you might just have to do your own thing because it's up to you to keep it up. It's not really up to other people. You can't um, if this is your personal journey and this is something that you want to do, you can't put that, base that off of what other people are going to be offering you to eat. Like that's, it's up to you to make sure you know what you're putting in your body and to make sure you are, have food to eat. So, I mean, just like anything else, but if you want to be more conscious about what you're putting in your body and you're trying to try this vegan challenge or something like that, I would say that it's very important to just think about what you can eat. And don't think about what you can't eat. Don't think about it. Put blinders on, just be like, there's a salad. Is there cheese on the salad? There's cheese on that salad. This salad? Ooh, we good. Okay. <laughs> I wanna put cheese on the pre-made salad. Like what? Why? Why, why? It's, it's a lot of people out here. I may not want blue cheese. I may not, I may, I may eat cheese, but I may not want blue cheese on it. 
or I may not want this cheese on it, or I may not want cheese on it at all, because I can't eat the cheese, and I don't want my stomach to be hurting. I may just be lactose intolerant, and I don't want cheese. Anyways, I just be feeling some kind of way. If I was a caterer, I would just be like, look, here it is. Tell me what you need. <laughs> like, here are all the options. <laughs> but anyways, so... Um, that's another tip and it's helped me. It helps me all the time. I don't even think about stuff like that when people be coming in with wings with um, baskets and trays of chicken wings and pizzas. I just be like, okay, cool. Either I know I ate. Oh, also if you're going to a restaurant, look at the menu beforehand so you can see what you can try to make even if they don't have anything vegan see what you can try kind of try to do with them sides or a salad or an appetizer or whatever or you may just decide i'm not going to eat when i go there i'm just going to eat before i go there i've done that too and it's just like stuff like that it's it's just like it's about you keeping it up so don't even think about like dang i can't even go out to eat like no there's plenty of restaurants that have vegan options now and there's things that you can have them make vegan a good place to go for like if this is your first vegan restaurant or you're having trouble eating out as a vegan good place to always go is like a staple a mexican restaurant something like that usually now they have a veggie side of the vegetarian at least vegetarian side of the menu and you can just tell them to take out the cheese. I usually get a little veggie burrito. Sometimes you can get it with like squash, spinach, mushrooms, onions, some little green um, um, tomatillo sauce, and um, call it a day, put some guac on it, get some guac. If they have the guac where they make it chunky at the table, that's what I'm getting. Salsa, um, oh, that sounds good. Rice, usually the rice is okay, but you can ask them what they cook the rice with, and yeah, tell them to bring out the guac with no cheese on it. Tell them to bring out those black beans. Get some black beans with, um, not refried, but if they have black beans, get it with no cheese on it, please. And that's a really easy place to go. But you can really do that in any place. Um, most places are able. I guess, like, maybe if it's a fancier place, they may not want to but most places are really accommodating or they'll have something on the menu that you can maybe that may be vegetarian or maybe very close to vegan that you can kind of like change and like make it vegan real quick another tip is to know that you can still have any kind of cuisine that you want think about um because when i first went vegan i had no idea like what to make i was making like random sides of veggies and rice you don't have to just eat broccoli and rice and like a potato like that's not how you have to eat your meal you can have any like literally think of any meal that you want and it can be veganized so that's what I started to do I'd be like oh I want an apple fritter oh I want um lasagna oh I want mac and cheese oh I want this like Google is there <laughs> Google is there you could literally type in anything and put vegan by it and it's probably been made and you can probably make it with something that's in your house and that's kind of what you know my channel is about I want to show you guys that y'all can literally cook whatever you want you can like be your own vegan chef and that's what I mean like you can take this recipe or take what you have at home and make what you are craving like what you are thinking you might want to eat yeah, it's doable, it's possible, it's really easy. I have some recipes on my channel. You guys can click the link there if you need a few ideas or you wanna see some things that I've veganized, but it's really, it's really fun and you can get really creative. Like I made apple fritters, I made, like I was saying, kale um, artichoke dip. I'd just be out here thinking of ideas and just taking it to the max because you can really veganize anything. They have so many alternatives, even like cakes and stuff like that, that are really good. I made banana chocolate chip bread the other day. I used this recipe. The recipe was a fail. I didn't have the right flour or something. It was a vegan recipe. I didn't have all the ingredients. It's quarantine. I just can't be out here going to the store all the time, spending all this money. So I was just like, I'm gonna use what I have. It's fine. <laughs> and that thing turned out so good. I kept adding milk and stuff. I was like, I don't even know if these are the right, um, like, measurements but I kept adding milk and stuff and it was really it was so good it was really good y'all so once I started getting creative I started to really enjoy um, making different stuff and appreciating those flavors and sometimes even liking it the vegan way more I know that's kind of weird but sometimes I was like oh no this vegan oh yes okay yes the flavors I never tasted it like this 
that's what I'm saying. Your your tongue, like your palate changes and you can taste things and stuff that you never even imagined. So I'm serious, y'all. It sounds crazy, but it, it, has, it is real, it's real. And my last little tip and thing that I wish I knew before I went vegan is to take it literally one day at a time. When I first went vegan, I was just like, I'm gonna try it out tomorrow. Like after I watched What the Health, the next morning I was like, I'm gonna just try it out tomorrow and see how it goes. Maybe do it for a week, maybe a month, see if this is for me, see how my body reacts. And I just took it one day at a time. That's all you can do. Literally every time that you eat something, every time you put something in your mouth, you have to make that choice to eat vegan. Every time you eat something, you have to be like, okay, you have to think about it. It's a conscious thing to do. And it's it's been really nice because I feel like I know more about what I'm putting in my body. And that's been really nice to like, just really track, like not track, but be, um, be present when I'm when I'm eating or when I'm making some food. I'm like, okay, I'm eating this. Or if I'm eating a lot of processed foods, I'll say, dang, I need to you know switch this up. See if I can use some spaghetti noodle, like um, some spaghetti squash instead of noodles next time or something. Like I need to try to fix this. <laughs> you try to switch it up, make it make it a little healthier if possible. But also every time you eat, you're gonna have to say, okay know what's in your food you have to look and know what's in your food and make that choice to be vegan but i would say just take it one day at a time it's literally a one day at a time and i know you guys have probably changed something in your life whether it's working out more whether it which i'm trying to do <laughs> whether it's studying more whether it's changing your grades in a class whether it's getting that promotion getting the job getting into the industry you wanted to get into so it's like the same thing each day you have to take a step to make sure you're getting towards that goal. So this is the same thing. You just have to make that choice. And it's just like anything else. If you're trying to start working out or anything like that, you just gotta get up and actually go work out. So if you're trying to be vegan, you're gonna have to actually make that decision every time you eat to stay vegan. So it's the same thing. But those are all the tips that I wanna share. I know this video is getting kind of long, but um, I am thinking of doing another video I have been working on just trying to think about all of the things about how to actually go vegan. So if you guys are interested in going vegan or trying a vegan challenge, definitely subscribe to my channel because I will be doing a video on how to go vegan and some more actual helpful tips of things to know and like things to think about when you're considering going vegan and how to actually stick through with it and stuff like that. Um, it could be like you can think about it a bit more because there's a lot of things that go into it and into making your own personal choice. Like I mentioned before, it is your own personal choice. So there's some things that I would recommend you to think about and to um, know going into it before you try out the challenge or try it out. Um, or if you've tried it before and you're thinking about doing it again, you know, like even that, I think that these those I have some more tips that would help you hopefully these have but yes hope to do a video on that very soon so be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so thank you guys so much for watching comment down below if you have any other questions about going vegan I would love to make sure I answer that in the next video so if you have any other questions about going vegan or any other questions about veganism at all even if you're not interested if you just want to know more I don't know if you have any other questions about veganism just leave them down in the comments down below so I can make sure that I can answer them in that next video thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it be sure to click on this video right here and I'll see you guys in my next video bye